Welcome to Purdue University, a school rooted in excellence since its humble beginnings in 1869, as John Purdue and the Tippecanoe County came together to create this land-grant institution. Since then, Purdue has grown to be one of the leading universities in engineering and science, achieving a national top 10 status and contributing many of our world's leading minds. The first class here at Purdue began in 1874, with 39 students and a tuition cost of around $3,000 in today's currency. Both in-state and out-of-state tuition have seen substantial annual increases since the late 90s and early 2000s, as well as an increase in the number of students admitted. In the last 12 years, tuition at Purdue has seen a 78% increase in in-state fees alone. Out-of-state tuition has increased much more drastically, adding roughly $11,000 in fees since fall 2002. Currently, in-state tuition threatens to push over into the $10,000 range, and out-of-state borders $30,000. With such dramatic increase in tuition costs, the need for change is becoming a dire one. This is where our current president, Mitch Daniels, comes into play, as he proposes a tuition freeze that will hold both forms of tuition at their current rates until the end of the 2014-2015 school year. The idea of a tuition freeze isn't new to the world as many other universities have attempted similar plans, including the University of Illinois, who froze tuition for four years after a 4.8% hike. Though we know the technicalities of what a tuition freeze is, maybe President Daniels could help us understand what he intends to do. Be able to make certain decisions um, here, and we'll, we'll be talking about them before too very long. That, uh, that cut across it was central administration in particular. Things as simple as simply freezing certain budgets instead of letting them go up the way it was assumed they would. Daniel says the university spends about two billion dollars a year and says about one billion is for the general fund budget. He says making up the 40 million dollars for the tuition freeze can easily be done. This is what a couple percent maybe each year. I'm pretty sure we can do this if we uh, set our minds to it. Daniel says this is just the beginning of an ongoing endeavor to find ways to make higher education more affordable. And that's something Rogers and other students appreciate. This is a good way of him showing us that he cares. As with any policy change, there will be opposition, agreement, and indifference. According to the survey our group published, two-thirds of students agreed with the freeze, while only one-third opposed it. Tuition's gone up since the 70s, and uh, I thought it was a really neat move, and uh, I don't know what it has to do with Mitch Daniels becoming president, but I think he's already engaging the students on issues that are important to students, and uh, I think it's an issue of you know, many students thinking about in this time of you know, economic crisis. I think it's a really positive thing. It's about time. It costs too much money to go here as it is. It's overpriced. I mean, I don't think it's necessary. We redecorate things all the time. I feel like we could give the money back to the students. A lot of changes can be made and it could help students go to college that can't always afford it. I mean, I think they give back more to students. I know um, in Brazil, where I was from, they, uh, as long as you get into school, or pretty much pay for your tuition. It's uh, significantly cheaper to go to school there as long as you have the grades. I think it should be more like that here instead of us paying so much money you know, for a public education. I'm well, that uh, President Daniels decided to freeze the tuition um, for the next couple years. Even though I'm a senior, I'm really glad for um, future generations of Purdue students that affordability might not be as big of an issue um, for, for those generations as it has been um, for myself and for older college students. I think that it's really um, helpful that President Daniels did this and I really um, admire him. So we want to protect those who are uh, uh, lower paid at Purdue, to whom uh, a modest <laughs> increase might mean a little. And, uh, you know, this is meant to be the, the first step, but I hope it's the only one that touches salaries. Daniels also asked the different colleges to look and see how each one can cut back on expenditures. 
He says the $40 million figure represents 1-2% to of the university's budget over the next two years. That's why he told the colleges to look at every expenditure, even trips or subscriptions. Little numbers add up to big numbers. And uh, I just I made a few of those suggestions because sometimes there's a power in a small example that gets people to think about about larger. Others understand the savings costs. My money pays them, so it, it would kind of make sense if they would freeze uh, college prices and stuff that they would also freeze their 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 income also. Daniel says eliminating the merit pay raises is only the first step bridging the budgetary gap. He says more announcements will be made in coming weeks. Reporting on Purdue's campus, Brittany Tyner, News 18. President Daniels told faculty members that students, their families, and taxpayers need to be top priority. As an administrator, Daniels himself will also be not getting a merit pay raise. Ohio State, Iowa State, Phoenix University, Indiana University, and the University of Illinois are all just a few of the big names on the list of schools to offer tuition freezes to their students. In many of these cases, the impact on the student body was a much needed relief.